Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this interesting problem. We are asked to find the radius of this particular cycle you can see that here. We are given a cycle with two line segments. You can see one line segment here which is 3cm and we have another line segment here which is 4cm and we are asked to find the radius. Radius is nothing but half of a diameter. Already we have a portion of a diameter. This is not a complete diameter because it has to be end to end from the center. Already you can see the center right here. So in order to have a complete diameter, let us extend this line, this particular line. All right, now I have extended the line to form a complete diameter. Let us call the line I have just formed X, right? Which implies that X plus four must be a diameter. The whole of this length here must be a diameter. So the diameter D is equal to X plus 4 and we know that radius is nothing but half of a diameter and we can write radius in terms of diameter because two radii form a diameter and hence 2r is equal to what x plus 4 and to make x the subject we can say that x is equal to 2r minus 4 let's call this equation number one now, I would like to have another equation in terms of x. And how can we do that? Remember, from cycle theorem, it stated that if a diameter subtends an angle to the circumference, the angle formed must be 90 degrees. This is what I mean. We have a diameter here. Once you subtend an angle to the circumference, the angle formed at the circumference must be 90 degrees. And hence, we can connect these two points, this to this and this to this, this angle must be 90 degrees. That is exactly what I mean. All right. This particular angle must be 90 degrees according to the cycle theorem. If it is 90, uh, let me concentrate on this right angle because we have two right angles here. This is a right angle. This is another right angle. So these two angles are said to be complementary because if you add them together, you must get 90 degrees. Because the sum of all the angles in a triangle equals 180. Already we have 90 here. We have 90 left. And the sum of the two other angles must be 90. Let me call this alpha and call this beta. What I mean alpha plus beta must be 90 degrees. Definitely. And we have already seen that the entire angle here is 90 degrees. And since we already have alpha here, this must be beta because the sum of alpha and beta equals 90 degrees, right? So this angle here must be beta. And what about this angle? This is another right angle triangle. The sum of these two angles equals 90. Therefore, this must be alpha. Just compare the two triangles. They are just similar. They are similar triangles. If that is the case, we can relate their side lengths. Let's do that. Let me start with x here from this smaller right angle triangle. This x is directly opposite to beta. So let me bring it here. We have x divided by another side length that is directly opposite to beta from the bigger triangle. So this 3 is directly opposite to beta. So we divide by 3. Let me take another side length from the smaller triangle. We have 3 here from the smaller triangle, which is directly opposite to alpha. So this is equal to 3 divided by what? A side length that is directly opposite to um, alpha, which is 4 here from the bigger triangle. So we have 4. So from here, we can cross multiply, right? So x times 4 is 4x. Four 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, we can divide both sides by 4. x is equal to 9 divided by 4. This is equation number 2. So you can see from equation number 1, it is written in terms of x. Likewise, equation number 2. Therefore, we can equate their right-hand sides. This implies that 2r minus 4 from equation 1 must be equal to 9 divided by 4. And we can take this negative 4 to the other side. Once it crosses over, it becomes positive. 2r equals 9 over 4 plus 4. Divide by 1. We can rationalize it. To have a common denominator, we can multiply the top by 4 and the bottom by 4. 
so that 1 times 4 is 4, right? And therefore, 2r is equal to 9 over 4 plus 4 times 4 is 16 divided by 4. And you know, once you have common denominators, you are always free to add the numerators together. 2r is equal to 9 plus 16 is 25 divided by 4. And finally, we can divide both sides by 2. So r is equal to 25 divided by 4 times 2. We just divided both sides by 2. And this can now be written as 25 divided by 8. So finally, we can say that r is equal to 3.125 cm. This is just the radius of that particular cycle. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.